Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing off my LEGO DC minifigure collection. I'm going to be going through each figure individually and going to talk about them a little bit. So most of these figures are uh, official figures. Some of them, which you might be looking at right now, are bootleg. Um, some of them are custom. And they're all pretty much purest figures. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into the swing of things. Starting off with the first figure. This is Year One Batman. Um, it's sort of based on the the classic comic, just sort of like a pretty basic suit. The torso is the boxing Batman torso. So, yeah. So that's 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 year one Batman. So this is like year two. Your your classic blue and gray suit. This is probably my favorite bat suit. I've used it a lot in the, some other videos that I've done. This is that same suit, but the black version of that. And then this is the new suit. <clears throat> I kind of call it the Hush suit because it's got the the 2006 logo. This is like the new version of the torso, but it's a pretty nice figure. I, I love the, the logo on this one. Then we have this one, which is, I don't know what I call this one, just like a darker suit. All, pretty much all of these are like comic based. I don't have any, that many movie suits over here. This is more of like an armored kind of concept one. I like the metallic pieces, but I'm not too, too sure about that. So that might change. This is my only classic figure, the 06 uh, all black suit. This one is Zero Year Batman from the New 52. So then these are like alternate suits. This is a bootleg Ark of Origins. Actually, the the face and the cowl are official, but the torso and legs are fake in the cape too. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with having fake Lego. This is supposed to be the Dark Knight Returns uh, armored suit. On the back, I cut off the, uh, the thing here so it matches with the movie. <clears throat> Sorry if you hear my dog. And this is Bruce Wayne. And this is Flashpoint Batman. I did some coloring on it to give it the red effects on him. And this is Batman Beyond. The arms are painted. I did those a long time ago when I was little. This is using the new cowl and the Nightwing torso Batman Beyond. Can we get into the Robins? So we have Dick Grayson Robin right here. The classic Teen Titan man. Finally, I have a Nightwing. Um, I had, a, I had I still have the bootleg Nightwing. Or the fake one. But I finally bought the, uh, the official figure. And then I made some changes. Giving him these arms and these different legs. And the, the hair piece. Uh, that's my dog over there. Then this is Jason Todd Robin. Um, a little bit of a darker version of Dick's suit. And with a different uh, mask. Then we have <clears throat> Red Hood. Those legs are from uh, Star Wars Rebels. And we have Tim Drake Robin right here. With the dual colored cape. I think that's from a Disco Batman suit. And then we have Red Robin, and the, his cape is also dual colored, and it's the Return of the King Aragorn cape. <clears throat> and then this is Damian Wayne Robin. He has two capes on. One of them is a cut black cape, and the other is one of the official Robin capes. Then we get into the Catwoman's. We have two. We have the, the black suit and the... Uh, purple suit 
And I think this is Batgirl's head under here. And then we have two Batgirls as well. We have Barbara Gordon. It's the official figure with a different head. And I think I changed the belt. And then this is the uh, Cassandra Kane Batgirl custom. No, we're kind of getting into like the Birds of Prey characters. Well, we have Spoiler and Huntress. This Huntress is the official one, and then Spoiler is a custom figure. And now we're getting into more Bat Family. So this is Batwing. <clears throat> and we have the Asriels. We have Red Asriel. And the white Azrael, the the white hood is a a fake hood. It's not a real Lego hood. But yeah, we have the two Azrael's there. And then we have one of my favorites, Azbat, custom figure. Oh, I did the Azbat, Azrael Batman from Nightfall. I think it looks pretty cool. Looks nice. And then I have Alfred and Lucius Fox using the new Jim Gordon face. Finally, I have a face that I can use for him because I've used a different head for a while. And we have Commissioner Gordon and Harvey Dent with the coin. And we have <clears throat> Harvey Bullock and Aaron Cash. And then it's Renee Montoya. And then we get into some of the Justice League characters. We have some Supermans here, the classic Superman, Rebirth Superman. Clark Kent figure. And now we're getting into some Wonder Woman, the classic Wonder Woman, and uh, a little more modern Wonder Woman. And now we're getting into the Green Lantern Corps. I just got a lot of these figures recently. Um, with Hal Jordan here, I did some custom painting on him. Painted the ring as well. And then we have the John Stewart official figure with a different hairpiece. And then we have a uh, purist guy gardener. Um, and then the official Simon Baz figure. We need a Kyle Rayner figure because I don't have one. Or I can make a custom one, but we need him. We have Jessica Cruz right here. And that's it for the Green Lanterns. And now we get into some flashes. So we have classic flash and uh, like a little more modern flash. And that's Ezra Miller flash of Justice League suit. And we have some Aquaman, so we have classic Aquaman. And uh, Armor and Aquaman. Or just like a different version. I got some green arrows here. Um, we have, this is more of like an, a suit from like the Arrow show. I love giving him red gloves. I, I just like doing that. And the, uh, this is the official figure with some changes. You can see the red gloves are a nod to the uh, the Brave and the Bold show. Also, it's classic suit. And then Old Man Green Arrow. I do this because of Dark Knight Returns. But the uh, the beard I shaved down on the sides, and then the the hood I also uh, scraped the hell out of so I could fit it over the beard. And we have black canary this was still kind of a work in progress i like the blue but 
I'm not super sure about her just yet. For the Justice League characters, we have the Atom and Red Tornado. I want to give Red Tornado, like, not the Iron Man helmet, but it's the best I could do for now. Uh, then we have Hawkman and Dr. Fate. I need to get Hawk Girl. I would really finish that off. Then I have uh, Firestorm and a fake Shazam figure. <clears throat> and now we get into the Teen Titans. Here's Cyborg. I like him all metallic. I think those legs are Ultrons. And then this is Wonder Girl. Then we have Kid Flash, Bootleg, Pink Figure. And then uh, Aqualad from Young Justice. Then I have the other Aqualad. I don't know. I think this is Garth. No, it's not Garth. I forget his name, but it's the other Aqualad. The, the, the blue one. Then we get into uh, Red Arrow and uh, Arsenal, both Roy Harper. Um, or speeding. And then the last of the Teen Titans, we have Raven and Bumblebee. I might get rid of the Bumblebee figure because I don't know anything about her. But we got Raven, though. And then to end off the DC characters, we have... John Constantine or Hellblazer. And now we get into the villains. So the first villains that we have are the Joker. We have three Jokers. So I said we have like classic Joker here. Dark Knight Returns Joker with the different hairpiece. And then this is the Killing Joke version. I did my best to make it because I do not have the right um, outfit for him. <laughs> Wait, Red Hood. <clears throat> we have some Harley Quinns right here. So the classic Harley and then Arkham Asylum Harley. There's a lot of Batman villains that we're going to be going through. And then uh, the Riddler. There's like a classic Riddler here. And then a different sort of version of him. I want to use this mask, but I don't know how I feel about this design. Then we have Mr. Freeze. We have, like, this is, like, a classic Mr. Freeze, like, the B-Taz version. And then this is more inspired by the uh, Arkham City game. His arms are clear, which I really like. And, yeah. Then we have some penguins here. We have classic penguin. And then sort of like a different version of Penguin. I like doing that. I like having like the classic suit and then the, maybe like a more modern or just like an alternate suit. Unfortunately though, for this next character, I only have one of Two-Face. Um, I did shave the, the other half of his hair and painted it black and I also painted his arm and his face. Um, yeah, and the coin's also cut up. So I only have one Two-Face. And then we have some more characters. We have Poison Ivy. And this is Clayface. He does not have a face, though. 
then we get some other characters. We got Solomon Grundy and Killer Croc. Then Bane and Scarecrow. I need to get a uh, a nicer Bane because mine is just the uh, the Mighty Mike Rose figure. And then there's uh, Movie Scarecrow and Man Bat. Which are cool. Followed up, we have Hugh Strange, custom figure. I painted on the, or I sharpied the the beard and like the wrinkles and stuff, and I colored in his suit. You can still kind of see. Then we get into Rachel Ghoul, the young and the old version. And then we have, oops, Talia and Nissa Al Ghul. And then the Mad Hatter and March Harriet. And I did erase the question mark on his helmet, so, or his hat. It's better. And then we get into some other guys. We have uh, Victor Zaz and Professor Pig with his Dollatron mask. And then Anarchy, who is also I sharpied the eyes on the back of a skull. That was a cool figure. A lot of these are our custom. These ones are big custom. Uh, we have Hush and Talon. Talon is just an amalgamation of old. Like this torso. I made that a long time ago. And I'm just kind of using it here. But this is supposed to be Talon. Until I get the real figure. Now we got... Firefly and Kill the Moth custom figs. Or this is official, this is a custom Firefly. <clears throat> now we have uh, Kite Man and Calendar Man. I should, I kind of want to do like a more modern Calendar Man figure, but. I like the uh, the classic figure too. Now we have uh, Humpty Dumpty and Zeus or Maxi Zeus. And then it's into the uh, the classic criminals. So you have Carmine Falcone, Salvatore Moroni. I don't have everyone up here. I only have, like, the big shots. So, like, I don't have Alberto right now. Just, I wanted to have room for a lot more other characters. Black Mask and Great White Shark. Black Mask is pretty dope. And then this one's cool. This is the Arkham Knight. Head is actually Ultron's head. That's my Arkham Knight. <clears throat> and now we get into, like, the Assassins. So we have uh, the Electrocutioner and Deadshot. I was going to, like, make a custom Deadshot because, like, it's kind of fun to do that. But the official figure is just so perfect that, like, there's no point. And then, this is KG Beast. Um, just using Captain America's pieces. They yeah, KG Beast. The, uh, the Russian guy. And then we get into 
problems. Deathstroke. That is the official figure. And then a custom figure with Odin's face. This is more of just a black and orange outfit for him. <clears throat> so that's it for Batman villains. And now we're getting into the Superman villains. I don't have much. We have Lex Luthor, Zod. Then some of the evil Supermans. There's Injustice Superman, Cyborg Superman. And then there's Lobo. Lobo and Cheetah. And then we have uh, Ares, based on the Injustice armor that he has. And now we'll get into the Green Lantern villains, just a few of those. Sinestro. The Sinestro. It's pretty dope. And then a work in progress, Atrocitus. I want to make more uh, Green Lantern villains, but kind of difficult to do that. Now we have Flash villains. We have Reverse Flash, and this is a bootleg figure that I just kind of consider to be Zoom. <sighs> like Zoom from the show, kind of, but a little bit more blue than just all black. And then two more Speedster villains, Black Flash... And this is Savitar, or it's supposed to be Savitar. Again, based on the TV show outfit. And now we're on to the Rogues, Flash, uh, Captain Cold, and Boomerang. Custom figures. And then we have Mirror Master and the Trickster, who's kind of a mess right now. Uh, but I think uh, Mirror Master turned out surprisingly pretty good. to finish the Flash villains with Killer Frost <clears throat> the only Aquaman villain in Ocean Master I do not have Black Manta I should get him should pick him up and then I have some Green Arrow villains so we have Merlin here and then this is the Dark Archer Again, also inspired by the show, more so the Dark Archer. And then Kodiak from the New 52 run and Count Vertigo. Let's see, that's supposed to be. What? Okay. And then this is Vandal Savage. And then here's the Anti-Monitor and the Monitor, or 
This is the monitor and this is the other monitor. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really too sure. The difference, but yeah. And then the final is Prometheus. Finally, I was able to make him and actually make him look decent. But yeah, Prometheus. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we have just a few other characters, the big figs. Bane, there's Crypto, Darkseid and his Parademons, and then Gorilla Grodd. So that's it. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while because it's a pretty extensive grouping of figures. Um, a lot of Batman characters. I've been working on more Justice League characters, especially the Green Lanterns. I bought like a lot of those recently. But yeah, if you want more videos like this, um, subscribe, hit the like button, and stay tuned for more content. Goodbye.